first of all, um, I want to give a lot of credit to the University of Washington. Got so much respect for their program, uh, for their university, for Coach Peterson. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job, and we're fortunate uh, to get out with a win. Um, you know, I've been doing this long enough. I know if you turn the ball over, um, you're going to have a hard time winning, and we were very fortunate uh, to get away with a win with the amount of times we turned the ball over today. You know, uh, something you know that we take a lot of pride in. We've been one of the better turnover ratio teams in the country, and um, you know, we just we just were a little sloppy with those things today, but. At the end of the day, I think the thing that swung it in our direction was third down on offense. Uh, we were fantastic on, on third down on offense uh, today. Um, I thought our offensive staff, uh, you know, obviously uh, Coach Moorhead uh, was fortunate enough to become a head coach and go to Mississippi State, and we wish him nothing but the best. And you know, we made a decision and stayed internal, and I thought our guys handled it really well. Ricky Ronnie, our offensive coordinator, Josh Gaddis, our passing game coordinator, Matt Linegrove, our run game and then obviously get Tyler Bowen back. So I, I thought those guys did a fantastic job. Defensively, we were able to make them one-dimensional. Uh, we were really able to suffocate you know, the running game early on. You know, the double pass, I think, is something that kind of got them going. They got some momentum after the double pass that they threw. Um, but overall, I thought, I thought we played really good in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. You know, a uh, big factor in the game was, was limiting the uh, impact that their punt returner was going to have in the game. Uh, well, it helps if you don't punt. You know, we, we didn't punt very much. And then when we did, I thought uh, Blake did a great job of banging the ball deep down the corner with enough hang time that we, they had to fair catch it. So uh, there were some things that we went into the game really talking about needing to do, and I thought we did it. So, you know, overall, um, we love the Fiesta Bowl. Uh, we're 7-0. and um, it's a tremendous game. We were treated unbelievably well uh, all week long uh, at the hotel, the Princess. Um, you know, the, the, the Fiesta Bowl host, Frankie Fiesta, was unbelievable all week long. Uh, we just, we, we, we had a great experience. Obviously, it's easy to say that after a win, but really, the entire experience was fantastic, and, and we're very appreciative. Now, if you look at the stuff that we talk about, I know I'm talking a lot, um, field position, we won that. That's always the thing that we talk about each game. Turnover battle, we lost. Uh, penalty battle, we won. That was something we were, both, we were both two of the most disciplined teams in the country. We were able to win that battle. And then the explosive play battle, um, you know, we won. Uh, we had 11 explosive plays uh, to their five. So, you know, the, the turnover ratio was a big one, but we were able to do pretty well in the other, other categories. Mm -hmm.